What could be the problem with PB&J? First off, kids and some grown folks don't like the crust. And jelly, if it sits too long, can make that bread soggy. Here's some better ways to PB&J. I love these. They make a tasty snack, but it's really fun and easy to make them yourself. I'm gonna spread a little peanut butter into the center of both sides. A little peanut butter on both sides will prevent the jelly from making the bread soggy. Dot, dot, not a lot. You don't wanna overfill. Sandwich. Now for the fun, you just need a glass or a cup. And press down. Ha ha, I love it. The cup should seal the edges, but you can always give it an extra crimp. Use a fork and gently press around the edges. Don't let this go to waste. Make breadcrumbs or even croutons. The best part about making your own crustless sandwich is you can chew, chew, choose your own ingredients. You can use any alternative spread like almond or sun butter. You can even make fun versions with marshmallow fluff or thinly sliced bananas. You controlling the quality of ingredients makes it even better. You can make these ahead of time, individually wrap them, even freeze them. 